Good evening. We're going to have more fun with loopable envelopes. Let's begin. Get off the get go with the uh, eight foot sawtooth. That's fine. We're set some things up here. We're not going to be using the filter for this experiment, so it's going to be on bypass. And as you know, oscillator one, which we'll be using, is uh, all the way on filter one. Set up amplitude envelope and set some release. And let's get to the goodies. We'll go to envelope three, set it to advance, I mean, sorry, loop off. Set the attack level to full. We'll start the attack at about, uh, I don't know, 48. To K1 at zero. To K2 at zero. Sustain two at zero. Sustain one at zero. Oops. Release at zero. In the mod matrix, I'm starting at nine. I'm going to apply this to pitch with a value of 38 or one octave. Now we look at the amplitude envelope, it's just a sawtooth. Okay, that's step one. Go back to the matrix. I want to round off the top on that, so I'm going to go add some recursive modulation. Say envelope three controls envelope three attack. And to make it rounded off or more logarithmic, is plus 48. Now it slows right down. That's okay. Let's keep going here. I'm going to add some key tracking to that... Uh, so on slot 11, because I started on uh, 9, and we got, say, key tracking. If I can find it. To envelope 3. Attack. And the amount of 56, minus 56. Now let's change to a sine wave. It might be more interesting. Okay, that's part one, but this is where the real fun begins. I'm going to turn this uh, unipolar uh, envelope into a bipolar one. You're going to ask me how I'm going to do that. Well, keep my decay at zero. I'm going to add in some decay too. Now, this is not going to have any effect right now. It's only the attack portion that's having any effect. However, by adding in maximum, two, envelope three, sustain, Add an amount of minus 32. You hear it going up and down. And this acts as a lag, the K1. That's lagging it. The K2 acts as my... Now I should put key tracking on that too. Go key tracking. Envelope three, decay. Go 
and minus 56. Add some more release, like 96. Adjust the attack. Add some lag. Let's stereotype it. Set pan amount to minus 64. Unisono. Unisono is three. You're not going to hear much. In fact, nothing, really. That's because I'm going to write a modifier. An undefined modifier, that. Set LFO1 to speed five or so. Go to the modifier uh, entries. Modifier one equals undefined modifier one XOR LFO1 and find another slot here up to slot 14 modifier 1 controls envelope 3 attack plus 38 let the stereo begin <laughs> Let's add a little bit more in here. Take that release down a bit. There we go. Gonna add in some FM to noise. And on my slots here. I'm gonna say release velocity controls 01 FM, an amount of 52. <laughs> I'm going to show you a finished patch with this technology. It's called clickbait. Have a good evening.